Hello there and happy Tuesday. I'm so happy to be joining you live today. We are talking all about um, organic foods and what that means just so that you can make a better decision on what is best for you and your family. So I'm going to be talking through some points as far as what it means to be organic, the process with organic, the difference between organic and conventionally farmed foods, um, and just some reflection points on it as well. And then kind of wrapping it up at the end. Once again, my name is Emily. I'm your registered dietitian and nutrition coach. And as you are hopping on to watch this live, please comment team live down in the comments or comment team replay. I am so excited um, to get you started. I'm so excited to really bring this to you. I was writing a blog on this today. So it's just kind of like fun and exciting and woo, really good. All right. So we are going to get started. So what organic means in the sense outside of calling foods organic is it's natural, it's made from food, you know, it's made, it's naturally occurring. Those are organic compounds, organic processes. So between organic and conventionally farmed food, which is foods that are not organic, organic is a special process that is used that is using nothing artificial or as far as chemically made or added to it with the farming. So when something is conventionally farmed, it does, um, it may have, you know, pesticides or whatever it is. You can always wash that stuff. Um, but that doesn't, you know, there's still food at the end of the day. It doesn't mean that it's not food or anything like that. So organic is how food is grown or produced. That's really what that means. It's organically farmed, organically produced. So it's made without artificial chemicals, hormones, antibiotics, or GMOs, which are genetically modified organisms. There are only nine GMOs out there. Not every Everything is a GMO. We've gotten label happy as far as calling things GMO when they were never GMO'd in the first place. Um, so there's only nine things that are GMO'd, which I can share that another time too. But organics are made without artificial chemicals, so pesticides or anything like that, no hormones, antibiotics, or GMOs. They must also be free from additives, so no artificial sweeteners, no colors, no added flavors, no MSG, which is monosodium glutamate, which actually just gives you that umami flavor. MSG is not bad for you, despite popular belief, MSG is not bad for you, but we don't want to go crazy with it too. So that's really good to know. With organically farmed things, you have to have natural fertilizers um, as well as no antibiotics or hormones. So the naturally made natural fertilizers, all of that stuff. Does that make sense? If it does, give me a thumbs up right now in the comments or hit that thumbs up button. So organic is a regulated term. Um, things have to be certified organic by the USDA in order to have that organic seal on them, which means that they are tested, that the USDA comes to the farm, sees the organic processes, and things are tested to make sure that they are actually organic. Um, so that's really good to know as well. Now, studies have shown that organic foods may have have more um, antioxidants in them because they have less of chemicals that might deplete these things. And when the um, when the plant does not have, you know, the chemicals or the pesticides to help protect them, they have to increase their own antioxidant power, their own protective power, which often then yields higher um, antioxidants rate, antioxidant rates in them. So it's not a huge difference. It's really marginal, very, very small difference, but it may also have a little bit of increased antioxidants in it. So maybe your orange is having a little bit more vitamin C than usual or than it is. You know, maybe your food has a little more of the B vitamins because the plant had to work harder to keep itself alive, really. Um, but in a 2014 study, there um, it showed that there was no correlation between people who ate organic foods versus inorganic foods or conventionally farmed foods and the risk of cancer. So eating organic does not reduce your risk of cancer or any other health problems. Um, it not, has not been linked to that, but it can offer potentially some increased antioxidants. Now remember, I am not a food scientist. I have not done research on this. I was doing research on this today from literature that I was reading on this for you, but I have not done actual research research on it where I'm not sitting in a lab or anything like that. So that is a really good thing to know. Um, now, as far as with organic meats, you know, these organic meats, the organic, uh, organically farmed um, animals still receive vaccines. That's a really good thing to know is that they still receive vaccines. They have to eat organic food. Their food has to also be organic. Um, it also has to be 30% pasture fed. So at least 30% of the diet of the animal has to be pasture fed, which means um, when they are pasture fed, they eat more alfalfa, which can actually increase the amount of omega-3 fatty acids that's found in the organically farmed meat, which is a good, that's a positive thing. We want more omega-3 fatty acids and things. Um, now remember too, organic meats, no antibiotics ever. 
So if the animal is sick, the farmer cannot treat the animal. They cannot give them the antibiotics. So that's where it's kind of like shaky as far as would we want the animal to be treated with antibiotics? We want the animal to be better. And another thing to note too is all of our meat and dairy, if it's conventionally farmed, is tested to make sure that there's no antibiotics in it ever. You will never be eating antibiotics. It's never in there. You know, we are not allowed to have antibiotics in our food. So all of that is tested. Specifically too with farmers, with dairy farmers, their milk is tested before it gets shipped out and pasteurized. And if it comes back that there is antibiotics, in there they can trace it back to the farm they jump all of that milk and then the farmer has to pay to replace all of that milk was then dumped so they really don't want that stuff coming through and they're very meticulous as far as testing it so conventionally farmed foods those animals can have antibiotics when they are sick because you'd want to be treated if you were sick as well um, but the food that you're eating does not have the antibiotics in it now another thing also um, all of this is tested, tested regularly. You know, it's always tested. The food is always tested to make sure that there's nothing traced in there or anything like that. Um, another thing too, you know, natural is another thing that also gets tossed around as well as organic. Natural does not mean it's healthier. Natural just means that there's no added colors, preservatives, or flavors. Natural is not a regulated term. You can call anything natural. Um, as long as it has no added colors, flavors, or preservatives. It has nothing to do with the methods in order to make that product. So something could be inorganic or conventionally farmed and still be considered natural. So sugar is actually natural in its raw form. You can have natural chips, but those are all things to kind of be aware of as well. The one downside as far as with organics is that they are really expensive because it takes more time and more energy and more resources excuse me, in order to be able to farm those products. It takes more time and energy. So it requires more land as well. Organically farmed foods require more land for farming, more water. They're more expensive for the farmer to farm as well as you to then go and buy at the grocery store. And we're also, they're still using organic pesticides. There are pesticides that are natural that are still used and treated on the crop. So that's not like there's never any pesticides. There are still organic pesticides that are being used that can still get into our food as well. So being conscious of that, that is why we always wash any of our food, any of our produce before we eat it. So really kind of just to wrap things up here, you know, they may, you know, may reduce exposure to artificial chemicals as far as they will reduce your exposure to artificial chemicals when you go with something that is organically farmed, which is a positive reducing exposure to hormones, added hormones, which aren't our own hormones. They don't affect our bodies at all if you do choose that. It also may reduce our exposure to antibiotics, but organics still use pesticides at the end of the day, which are made from natural things. So it's really, it comes back to what you want to choose. And as far as it's up to you, I don't use organics because I don't want to spend the, uh, special money for them. I don't see any difference as far as um, in my health if I use an organic product or not. Um, I'm okay with spending a little bit less than just getting conventionally farmed food. I know and I trust that our farmers and our resources as well, but that's completely up to you. That's why I did this live so that way you have a better idea as far as what does it mean to be organic? What does that look like? And where do we go from here? So if you have any questions on that, please leave that down below in the comments. I am so happy to be on here with you tonight. Let me know if you need anything. As always, have a wonderful night.